three fearless women performing dead defined stunts mid air were the show stoppers at Aero India 2015. Flying at a speed of 150 miles per hour at 1100 feet, Freya Patterson, Nikita Salmon, and Danielle Hughes mesmerized the crowd with their synchronized aerobatics. As the collision between the flying bull planes at Aero India demonstrated, aerial acrobatics is a high risk craft. It is not for the faint hearted. I was a little bit scared when I first started wing walking. Probably for my first two years, I did get a little bit nervous before each time I flew, but because I've been doing it, um, this is my ninth season now, it just feels like home. Um, we get very used to it, but it's still, you still get that adrenaline rush every time you do it. It's um, the ultimate roller coaster ride. Why does anyone choose to do acrobatics on the wings of a flying plane? What background and training do you need to survive in this profession? Um, I've been wing walking for two years now. So when I first started, I did a month's intensive training. And then I've been just been doing the summers ever since, because I'm a primary school teacher, so I can only do it. Well, um, we all come from a fitness background, so it helps that we all have um, you know, fitness when we join the team, and then um, we have our training for um, a month intensively, so um, it's difficult, but you know, we have a long time and it's so much fun. <laughs> I chose this job because I actually saw some wing walking when I was about six or seven years old. My mum and dad took me to an air show, and I saw the team performing. It was the same team that I'm in now. It was a different sponsor then, but I knew from that age. The pilot's job is no less challenging. He flies vintage metal birds with antiquated controls and navigation, and he has nothing but his skills to rely on. Uh, the most difficult part is probably um, the weather. We have lots of uh, difficulties with the weather where we fly. The weather in Europe can sometimes be pretty bad with wind and rain and the airplanes we have are very unsophisticated so they don't have many navigational aids. It takes perfect teamwork to survive these stunts. When nothing is audible against the sound of the wind, the pilot and the girls have to find new ways to communicate. Uh, as you can imagine, the wind is really strong. Um, well, not the wind, but the airflow. So the airflow could be doing, say, 150 miles per hour. So you're not going to hear them. And there's no radio system you can have that can help communication. But instead, we just use um, hand signals. 